hello guys welcome back to gitroid tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix loads of the file in is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this app the game is released right now and we're going to talk about the workaround the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart and that's what we have to do for doing a simple restart we just need to go over here in the start icon click on the power icon over here and do for a restart and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what you have to do so uh, you know we have to try with the first one and once afterwards if it's still it's not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder so most of us will be launching the game from steam that is might be an issue why we are having the uh, you know trouble so we just need to launch the game from the installation folder we have two methods we have a shortcut from the steam right click over here and go to the properties go over here in the installed file and just click on the browse that will redirect you to the particular installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common loads of the fallen and from here we have to launch the game so this is also a shortcut and apart from this you can also navigate to the installation folder go to the file explorer over here go to this pc go to local to c go to program file x86 go to steam go to steam apps over here now from go to the common now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to lords of the fallen now keep scrolling down go to lords of the fallen now launch the game from here then that will be working fine as well so you can depend any one of the two steps and this will be working fine so you have to try the steps and next one is all about after launching the game from the installation folder if it's still it's not working we can try running the game as an administrator so just right click over here and we have to go to the show more option go to the properties and we have to go to the compatibility and from here click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and try launch the game and see whether the issue is going to solve or not if that is not working we can try with the next one that is all about we have have to run the game in the compatibility mode so just right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties go to the compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode and here we have to set the windows 7 either to windows 7 and go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 and we can go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about it is all about we have to uh, set the windows uh, you know we have to make sure the date time and region should be correct for this we just need to go over here go to the search over here and navigate to settings just search for settings like this now go for settings now from here we have to go to the time and language make sure the date and time and time region should be correct so this should be turned on and the time should be turned on as well and this should be turned on sync now should be turned on and also make sure the language and region should be correct for example if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom if you're from united arab Emirates, you have to select so you have to select according to geography and once you set this up we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together. So just launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So that is going to work for you guys as well because it worked for many of the users in my knowledge. So you can try this out. So just press Alt and Tab while you launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC and navigate to the documents. And over here, if you find the folder, if you find anything over here, loads of the uh, fallen, if you find the folder, just delete it or else go to my games and over here, you will be able to find the folder. So if you find the folder, just delete the game and keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, we just need to close this and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to go for the control panel. We have to go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game load of the file. So keep scrolling down and navigate to L. So somewhere else you will be able to find it. So uh, if you are able to find loads of the file and somewhere else you will be able to find it. So uh, you know keep scrolling down because since it is an L I have to be in alphabet. So uh, let me do it once again. So uh, keep scrolling down. OK, 
okay this starts with i think it is loads of the file int right so this has to start with l so uh, over here we have to find where is l i'm not able to find it so somewhere else it will be here so uh, okay load of the file line is already added make sure the private and public has to be marked which is very important so imagine the game is not here so if that is the case what we will do is all about just click on the change settings and go for allow another app go for browse go to uh, this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam and go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to loads of the file end. so just uh, navigate to loads of the file end. now select this one and go for open and we have to go for add so it is already added that is why i'm getting the error once the game is added we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is we need to unclick all the usb devices so as you know that that we have connected with all the usb devices for example, multiples might be connected, so controllers might be connected, joysticks might be connected, and all these kind of things might be connected. So we just need to remove everything from here. Once we remove everything from here, we just need to try launch the game. And once we enter into the game successfully, we can try and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for perform clean boot. So just go over here. Uh, we just need to perform a clean boot so we just need to type for system configuration just search for system configuration now go for services and go for hide all microsoft services disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok they're going to ask you restart so just go for restart once restart is done try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go to the game right click and we have to go to the properties go to the install it file sorry go to the controllers not this one i think we have to go over here uh, general and make sure this has to be turned off which is very important if it is turn it on we have to turn this off and try launching the game if that is not the case we have to try giving the commands in the launch option and the first command is dx11 try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with the dx12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine so either the dx11 or dx12 will be working fine and you have to try with this as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overflow overlay and overclocking application so we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilized in the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue so we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so if you find the game over here and not, not the game if you find for example discord or uh, uh, riva tuner msi afterburner and all those things if you find it you can remove it and once afterwards we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for so just go over here in the search and we have to go to graphics settings now from here you have to see that i have already added the game same way we need to add the game just click on the browse now from here we have to go to this pc and we have to go to local to c we have to go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps now go to steam apps go to common select loads of the file and over here select this one and go for add so the game is added just click on the option and by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once it is saved we just need to close this go back try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system settings just click on this one and go to the advanced go to settings once again advanced once again go for change now from here we have to uncheck this and make sure you have select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so let me go over here in the calculator so the calculator is this one and we have to click on this one so i have to type the ram that is 32 gb is my ram i have to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one we have to type 32 gb multiplied it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well so once you're done with this one just set everything okay over here and we have to close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about we need to update the windows just go over here search for settings over here and go to the windows update 
make sure the windows should be up to date and we have to make sure the windows is up to date or else we'll be having the trouble so just update the windows and once afterwards we just need to close this and we have to try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, you know we just need to uh, I mean we have to increase uh, sorry install the graphics card manually so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the AMD, uh, amd the nvidia users have to go over here select everything like your product type product series product and everything should be selected operating system should be selected english language etc and go for start search now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the driver version so the driver version is 537.58 which is released on october 10 2023 so just download this one install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here select every details over here has to be selected and go for submit if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game Next one, if you're on, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, that will be working fine as well, it did work it. So if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Install a restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. And last two steps is all about, we have to try uninstalling and go to the manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you have to make sure that it should not be installing back on the same local disk. You should be changing the local disk to new one. And once afterwards, try launching the game next one is all about we have to try the last and the very important steps that is all about verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and once you're done with this one, you can try launch the game and that will be working fine. So let me wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do afterwards. So once afterwards, close this and try launch the game and that will be working fine. And this is what you have to do when it comes to this. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.